Hey, my name is Juan Rodriguez, and I'm a throwing trainer here at Drive One Baseball. Our assessment process starts with a uh, motion capture analysis and a biomechanics lab, in which you'll do five to six max in, uh, intent throws off the mound. This is going to help us uh, take a more in-depth look into uh, some of the good positions that you are either able or not able to achieve during the throwing motion. Through our biomechanics lab, we're able to take a look at some of the things like uh, arm positioning at foot plant, hip shoulder separation, kinematic velocities, kinematic sequencing, uh, lead left block, uh, and many other things. This is going to help us make a more informed or tailored training recommendation based on some of the things that you either do well uh, or don't do well, right? So we are going to be able to uh, uh, tell you what are some of the mechanical inefficiencies uh, that you have during your throwing motion or what are some of the uh, things that you do well during your throwing motion. We've had more than a thousand uh, captures in our biomechanics lab, ranging from youth, high school, all the way to uh, MLB pitchers. So based on that, we're going to be able to tell you, hey, um, this is what some of the things that our elite level throwers do, and these are some of the things that you do. Um, these are some of the patterns that we need to fix or address, and these ones on this side are really well compared to our data set. And based on those findings, uh, we'll be able to develop a training program to address those needs. During your assessment week here at Driveline, you'll have a meeting with your assigned throwing trainer and a member of the high performance department. In this meeting, we'll go over your biomechanics report and your table assessment and force plate numbers. This will help you get a better understanding of where you're currently standing in comparison to your peers and what deficiencies we need to address in order to improve your skill set. During your last day of your assessment week here at Driveline, you'll be doing a baseline bullpen in order for us to get a better idea of what your arsenal looks like. This will serve as a base for future arsenal recommendations should you continue to train with us. I'm Stefan Simmons, head strength coach at Driveline. The high performance assessment at Driveline starts on the table. Uh, we're going to get the athlete up onto the table and take a look at all the major joints and just ensure that the athlete doesn't have any major restrictions in any of those joints. The second part of the driveline HP assessment, we're going to get the athlete up on the force plates. These will allow us to take a look at the athlete's maximal strength, explosive strength, reactive strength, as well as any asymmetries that the athlete displays during testing. The combination of these two portions of the assessment is going to allow us to develop a plan for the athlete. That plan is going to be able to identify and attack any weaknesses, as well as maximize any strengths that that athlete currently displays. The last thing that we're going to be able to do with information from the assessment is compare the athlete to the peers. It's going to allow us to identify any area in which they're significantly stronger or weaker than their peers and attack those specific areas. Hi, my name is Terry Phillips. I'm a physical therapist here at Dropman Baseball. Um, I'll be the, running, the one that's running through your physical therapy assessment, which for pitchers is going to be on day one, for hitters is going to be day two. Uh, the exam is going to consist of uh, doing passive range of motion testing of both the upper and lower extremities as well as the cervical spine, thoracic spine, and uh, lumbar spine. Uh, we're also going to include a quick gait analysis, manual muscle testing, some neurological testing. The purpose of the exam is to determine if there's anything that may be limiting you on the, either on the skill side or on the high performance side during your stay at driveline. After the exam, we'll determine if there's any type of corrective exercise or any other treatments that we need to do to help you achieve your goals while you're here. Um, and we'll lay out a plan of care as far as how often you need to see me, whether it be like once a week, every couple weeks, or just like once and you should be good to go.